welcome back programmers in the today's section we are going to talk about models in django now if you don't know what is model model help us to create a database table to store the data from user or you can store the data from admin section we are going to talk more about in later video but in the today's video i am just only going to talk about models now i created a project name model concept and i created a app and i'm going to name it app1 so i just created a project model concept and i just created a app app1 so now in app1 i'm going to create a url and connect and create a templates and create a html index file so if you don't know how to create all of this stuff basic so just check out my previous django series so this is my app one i was just watching american dad so i'm gonna just close this okay so this is my app one and you can see this is the home dot html this is in the app one this is my app and this is my all of the files this is the template where i put home.html okay so now let's create a models so you can understand what is models so if you know basic of sql mysql sql lite we can create a table in that database so how we are going to do this in django you can use sql mysql sql lite either but in this video we are going to talk about models if you want to use sql mysql sql lite etc so you can use it too so for creating models we have to go in the models.py which is in my app one i just created app and this is you can see this is my app one and in this app one i got models.py and you can see there is a comment create your models here so let's just create a model uh, we are gonna create a basic blog file it means i want to create a blog so how we can store title image blog post date etc in this section and for that i'm gonna create a class and you can name it anything i'm gonna name it a uh, blog because i am creating a blog so class blog and in here we have to inherit this blog with the models dot you can see in here i am going to just inherit this blog now and models dot capital m o d e l s models models dot model the m is capital in here okay in here we are going to create a field first i want if you want to create a register so you can do it either you just need to do is enter email id enter name enter username enter password enter password again but in here we are going to just simply use title and post and date we are going to talk how to add image in blog in later video how to add a file in blog in later video but for today's video i'm going to just add title and post and date in blog this is my blog okay and for that title i'm going to create a variable title post and date let's add another field like author okay so this is my variable i want to store all the data in this variable so how we are going to do this and for that title equal to i'm going to use this model this models dot we have field now if you know sql so in sql you have to add a field the data type so django models support some data type like care field image field 
so if you want to know more about django models data types so just check out django official document link is in the description so for title we are gonna use care field because character field models dot character field and this character field we have to add a max length means user can maximum add only this count of character and for that we are gonna use max length you can see we got max length uh, title for title we need only 150 this is too much I know but 150 is good for now and for post we are gonna use models dot character field and you can see here we got too much field like character field data type, date and time field image field slug field date time field date field integer field we are gonna use character field again because user can only add a character in here in character you can add special character number and character okay so the max length is uh, for post we are gonna add 2000 okay now date field date equal to models dot we have date time field okay date time field or date field you can choose whatever you want I'm gonna choose date time field and in date time field we don't have to add a parameter okay author equal to models dot character field and max length equal to let's say 100 because author name is top of 100 okay now that we got I just wanted to add one more field and name it slug we are gonna talk more about in later video what is slug but for now slug equal to model dot slug field and again max length equal to 100 or you can say 150 okay okay we just created our table so that's how you can create a model now how we are gonna use this first we have to migrate this model to know Django I created this table store this table into your whatever field and create migration all migration are gonna store in this folder you can see there is no another file just init.py but when we migrate this you can see this file in here so how we are gonna do this first I'm gonna stop this server now I'm gonna tell Django to migrate this means create this table and for that we are gonna use python manage.py make migration you can see the spelling if you don't know what is the spelling so you can just do is help and in here you can see you got all of the function like make migration and migrate we are gonna use these two keyword okay I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna use this in here I'm gonna paste it and when I click enter you can see this is gonna create the table named blog you can see migration for app 1 which is my app app 1 migration 001 initialize dot pry create model blog means blog is created now we have to migrate this and for that we are gonna just simply do is migrate now this is gonna apply all of the changes 
but whenever you create a table you have to create a make migration and migrate so it will create all of the file and tell Django to do whatever you want to do okay you can see the apply all my migration admin app one auth and all of the stuff is completed here you can see apply auth and now whenever you see in here you can see we got 0001 dot initialize dot pi initial dot pi and in here you can see title post date author and slug all of the field we just created is in here and you can see there's an ID field Django created itself we don't need to create ID it is auto okay now that we created a table how we are going to use this and for that we have to create a super user so we are going to just simply write create super user and this is really important if you want to upload this website in server so just remember the detail whatever you are gonna enter in here so you can see username leave blank to use vivek so if you leave blank it is automatically gonna take vivek as username but i'm gonna name it system you can name it anything and email address you can add any email address i'm gonna just enter fake email address this is not important but if you are uploading this server into uploading this app into server so you have to add, add the real email id so uh, we are gonna just add password in here now password is not gonna show in here but it is automatically gonna enter so i'm gonna just enter password manager you can see you can see manager again and just why in here okay you can see super user created successfully now i'm gonna run the server again so in here i'm gonna just reload this server and in this time i'm gonna just add a admin in here so this is my admin section if you done all this stuff right so so you can see the admin in here too so I'm gonna just enter system and manager okay login okay so this is our Django administration but where is our blog and for that we have to register our blog so simply just go in the admin.py and register your blog here Reg register your models in here so just first we have to import the blog and for that just write from dot models import blog okay in here we are going to just register our model and for that simply just write admin dot site dot register and in here just simply add our blog add your model so that's how you can register your model okay save this and reload this and now you can see in the app one we got blocks this is our model and when i click in here let's add some field in blocks you can see we don't have any blocks and you can see django models will automatically add s after your model's name you can see blog we just entered a blog but it is automatically add s and now this is blocks now let's add blog you can see we got title post date time author and slug so just enter a title this is first title and i'm gonna just copy this and i'm gonna just paste in here and change the title to post i want today date and today time author equal to logan and in here slug now in the slug if you write logan 
you can see whenever I click on this save button it is automatically gonna redirect okay now let's enter another blog title 2 so this is title 2 control a control c post in here this is post to today date today time author equal to logan and slug equal to logan we are going to talk more about in later video about slug but for now slug is like character field you can see here whenever we add blogs it is telling this is the blogs object how we are going to change this to title if you can change this into title so it is easy to understand okay let's create another blog first okay this is blog okay now i'm not gonna write this is blog i'm gonna copy the blog from here python okay i'm gonna copy this welcome to this is our post today's date today's time okay author equal to unknown in slug equal to what is python but in slug you can't add space you can see the error enter a weld slug and for that we are gonna just use what is python slash okay we got three blogs but how we are gonna change this to easy understand i don't want the blog object i want the title and for that simply just go in the model and create a function in here def str this is the stream function if you want to know more about this function just check out my python series and we are gonna just simply return the title if you want to show the post you can do either but we are gonna simply just return the title but don't forget to add self dot title okay save this and reload this you can see here we got this is the first title this is the title 2 and what is python this is easy to understand that's how you can change the object into title okay now that we created a blog how to print this blog in our site in here there's nothing in here but let's just do something to print all of the title and post in here and for that we are gonna just go in the views.py and this is my function home in urls you can see i just simply entered first home page is my home views.home so this is my function home and in here we are gonna just simply import the models and for that from dot models we're gonna just simply import the blog this is my model blog and blog equal to you can create a object if you don't want to create object this is okay but i'm gonna create a object so i'm gonna name it blg equal to blog now if you don't know how to create a object of class just check out my python series this is the object of blog now what we are gonna do is we are simply fetch all of the detail from blog so this is all of this stuff i want all of this stuff in one variable so how we are gonna do this and for that i'm gonna create a variable all equal to 
blg dot object objects dot all so it is gonna fetch all of the stuff from blogs and we are gonna just simply pass this all in the HTML and name it all and all now if you don't know what is this just check out my previous Django series and I'm gonna save this and this is my home page I'm gonna create a div now if you don't know HTML basic so just write whatever I'm writing div class equal to container this is just for designing stuff if you don't want to write this this is okay container and I'm gonna close the div and in here I'm gonna add a center tag to add all of the stuff in center and in here I'm gonna use h1 tag for title and h2 first I'm gonna create a space br and then I'm gonna add a post and for post I'm gonna use h3 tag or h2 tag is good this is for post and now I'm gonna just add a date and author and for that again I'm gonna add a br tag and then I'm gonna create a line and for that hr tag and then I'm simply gonna just print date and author name this is date and this is author name okay but how we are gonna print all of this stuff in this only section now if you don't know what is for loop so just check out my python series and django series now if you want to know how to use for loop in django so just check out my for loop video so link is in the description now we are gonna use for loop to print all of this stuff and for that I'm gonna use just Jinja format I'm gonna take a for loop for I'm gonna make a variable name it i in for i in I just add a all all is all of the object from model so i is gonna go in particular title post date author slug one by one and print all these for i in all okay and we are simply gonna just print i dot first we are gonna print a title and in here we are gonna use i dot post and in here we are gonna just print i dot author and i dot date okay let's save this file let's reload this server you can see we got error attribute error in all blog dot objects dot all okay i just used this object to get all of the stuff let's try blog okay you can fetch all of the detail from object so you have to add a blog and the blog is class of the models so you have to add a blogs so you can't use this but we can use this to other stuff we're gonna talk up more about in later video so just add blog dot object dot all now we have to end the for loop and for that just use in Jinja format and for 
and 4 okay save this and now let's reload this you can see the error is 4 and 4 okay you can see this is the first title this is the okay we can't see the post in here let's see what is the problem I just entered a post but in here model.py you can see the variable name is post sir there's an s in end of post let's just add s save this okay let's reload this you can see this is first title this is first post logan okay let's add hr tag in end of the first post okay let's add hr tag in end of the first post let's save this and you can see that's how you can create a blog that's how you can use the model in Django this is the first title this is the first post Logan March 24 2020 4 9 a.m. this is the second second post Logan and this is the last post what is Python and this is the post and unknown we just add unknown in author and March 2024 okay how we are gonna what if I want to order by this blog I want to order by the last blog it means I want this blog first because I add this blog in the last so how we are gonna order by this blog date wise and for that just simply use in here blogs.objects.all dot order by date you can even use the id in here but we are gonna use date now let's save this and let's reload this you can see now the last blog is the first blog so that's how you can change the order of this algorithm now let's add another post in here i'm gonna just copy this and i'm gonna just add another blog in here add blog and in here just simply i'm gonna write so this is my post hi subscriber please subscribe to my channel this is my title this is all in one code today's date today's time author all in one code let's save this and now let's see what is happening in here you can see this is all in one code hi subscriber please subscribe to my youtube channel and please hit on the like button if you like this video hit on the bell icon for latest updates share this video to other programmers see you guys in the next video bye bye now what if we entered a uh, old date let's try this i'm gonna just create a old title and old posts and in here i'm gonna just add a 2008 okay so this is the old date so it means this post should in the last of our blog site okay let's try old and old let's save this so this is our old title let's reload this and you can see the old title the old post the old is in the last so that's how you can change the order of this blog by date so that is it for today's guy if you want to know how to add data by user in model so i'm gonna talk this in later video so please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video share this video hit on the bell icon thank you